Hi guys, Dane here, and today I wanted to do kind of a bit of an update, kind of a bit of a thank you video, kind of a writing update. Uh, we'll start with the uh, the thank you, which is basically I want to thank you guys just for being really supportive, for you know checking out my videos. I've noticed a lot of people uh, like following me on Instagram and stuff like that. Maybe not so much on Twitter because you know you've never seen a more wretched hive of scum and villainy than on Twitter. But Facebook, certainly, lots of people have been coming through to my Facebook page, which has been great. And my Instagram as well. I see every now and then people reading my books. And I just really appreciate, like, people taking the time to interact with me. Especially because I'm not the best at it myself. I mean, I'm kind of introverted and like to just sit in my house alone reading. But it always makes me smile when I see comments from you guys. Um, you know, people have been offering to send me stuff recently, which I really appreciate as well. And just in general, I feel like... This is kind of moving on to more of the update side of things, but I kind of feel pretty content with how things are going. There was a little while where, and I talked about this, where I was enjoying watching booktube videos more than making them. Now I'm back to enjoying doing both of them, which is good. I'm quite happy just in general with my personal life. I've managed to get some writing going recently. And I guess that brings us on to the writing update as well. So... As you guys know, I've got a bunch of books out. My most recent one is Driven, which came out last year. It was actually republished this year by a small press uh, who have been kind of helping me to get the series out. They're hopefully going to be publishing the second book as well. Uh, I'll link below to my Amazon if you want, if you want to check out my books. They're all available on there. And uh, yeah, so as I say, my writing kind of stalled for a bit towards the start of this year, but I've made a lot of progress recently. So I finished my first draft of my memoirs. Now, they're, they're basically telling the, the story of my life through the books that I've read. And so actually I still need to film the last few of my bookshelf tours because then I take the list of books from those and then use them to kind of write about my life, you know? But as a general rule, that's pretty much finished. And it's around 140,000 words, so kind of bigger than I expected it to be. I've been writing Monsters of Rock, which is kind of Lord of the Rings meets Spinal Tap. And I'm on about 27,000 words there. That's actually shaping up to be massive as well. Uh, probably 140, 150,000 words, because it's going to tell the entire history of this fictional band uh, up to the present day. And at the moment, we're in 1995, and I think I started in 92. So at 28,000 words for those three years. You know, it's gonna be a long one. Speaking of long books as well, Meat, which is my novel it's set on a factory farm, that's around 120,000 words. That's gone over to my editor now, so I finished my self-edits. So my editor is, uh, shout out to Pam Elise Harris. She wrote a book for, called Oblivion as well. Very cool, Pam. And uh, yeah, Pam's now got that and has started on the first round of edits. So then it comes back to me. I do some changes, goes back to Pam, back to me, back to Pam, back to me. And then I decide what I'm doing. I don't know whether to sort of shop that around publishers or I might just self-publish it just to get it out there because I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So that's all exciting. And yeah, also writing poetry, some flash fiction and stuff like that. I basically have so many projects that are written at any one time that, I, you know, I'm writing stuff faster than I can edit it, which is kind of a good thing, but kind of a bad thing as well. But really, because I've just been so busy with various bits and bobs recently, I've not really found the balance between my writing life as well. And I think I've finally found that. Uh, and again, just going back to my sort of life update, like... I'm just trying to settle down a bit, you know, I'm, I'm in my 30s now, I need to calm down a bit, so I'm going to try and like, maybe drink a bit less, exercise a bit more, I don't know, I'm not doing too bad with those anyway, I've also quit smoking, which is good, so, yeah, uh, that, that's, that's my update really, as I say, I've really been enjoying doing booktube, so I'm going to continue making videos, I kind of want to do some more kind of creative stuff, but... I don't know, I'm not like the best at editing necessarily. I'm probably best when I just talk in front of a camera. I'm not even particularly good at like writing scripts, which is kind of funny because I am a writer, but it is what it is. But yeah, overall, I'm, I'm sort of, I just wanted to say like, I'm super grateful for you guys for sticking around with me, even when, I don't know, when maybe when I'm having a creative lull or whatever, or not reading the kinds of books that you're necessarily interested in. It just means a lot that people are sort of so supportive and, uh, you know, I like to, to support the other way around as well. So, yeah, look out for more indie book reviews from specifically from booktubers coming soon. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to say in this video. So, as always, thanks, thanks, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.